bigger's always better, right? Well, in the case of bit depth, yes, but there is a cost in terms of file size, computer processing power, and, well, cost. So we all know that cameras render images using pixels, and pixels render color using combinations of three channels, namely red, green, and blue. All of this is done using a binary numeric language, i.e. all ones and zeros. Remarkable. So bit depth describes the number of numeric digits in each color channel that is used to then create all the combinations of color. Let me show you. So a camera that is processing 8-bit color is going to use 8 digits of zeros and ones for each color channel. So it'll start with 00000000 and go all the way up to 11111111. Now, of course, it is only using ones and zeros, and that means with an eight-digit sequence, you have 256 different combinations. This means that the camera is processing 256 different channels of red, 256 different channels of blue, and 256 channels of green. Got that in the wrong order, but it still processes it nonetheless. So you multiply all those together, and you get 16,777,216 different colors. So what happens when we add just two more digits to our binary numeric sequence for each color channel. Well, that gives us 1,024 different reds, 1,024 different greens, and yes, you guessed it, 1,024 different blues, folks. Which means that 10-bit color can render a whopping 1,073,741,824 different colors. Whew. Are we all ready for 12-bit? I'm not. Okay, adding two more digits to the sequence will give us 4,096 different reds, 4,096 different greens, and blues. You get the point. Multiplied together, I'm going to have to read this one with you. It is 68,719,476,736 different colors that 12-bit can render. <laughs> But wait, how many colors can the human eye even distinguish to begin with? Well, it's going to be a unique number for every person, obviously, and of course a much smaller number for all of my colorblind friends. Hi, Samuel. And wouldn't you know it, the scientific community is not even agreed upon the subject. The BBC reports that there are 100 million different colors that the human eye can distinguish. Neil Retina says that the number is more around 10 million, and the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences USA, what an unfortunate acronym, says it's more around 2.3 million. So if we can only see between 2 and 100 million different colors, what's the point in investing in a camera that can render billions of colors? Well, just in case the BBC happens to be correct, you may want to go with 10-bit. But seriously, there is a practical purpose here. Think of color bit, or the number of colors that the camera can render, as color resolution, if you will. It's the same thing as the number of pixels is to image resolution. The more you have, the sharper your image. Well, in the case of colors, the more colors that you have, then the better your gradients, your where light falls off and the color shifts from one tone to another, the better that will render. You will especially see this in things like the sky, maybe some skin tones or some flat wall colors and things like that. If you want to avoid that color banding and the big ugly blotchy stuff that you'll see sometimes with 8-bit color, then going with 10-bit or 12-bit is a good option. So now that you understand what bit depth is, which one is considered essential in a modern day camera? Why well, not only answer this, but I also go through all the other features you should consider absolutely essential if you want to run a highly profitable and productive video business.